Well, I kind of figured I should maybe wait a little bit and talk about college football another day. Talk about the 12-team playoff and everything like that another day. There's really another day for it. I'm aiming for Friday night. There's nothing going on on Friday night that I want to watch, so I might as well just talk about the CFP then and, you know, go from there. Tonight is uh, – I forgot about, you know, doing this yesterday. I was just not feeling it. Uh, there have been some days where I have not been feeling up to making what I need to be making. Like, for example, last – Last week, I didn't make an NFL video last week. It is what it is. But yeah, the NBA Cup, the knockout stage, it is set. No Boston in this field. You know, really good Boston Celtics team. No Minnesota Timberwolves. You know, you know with Ant-Man and Julius Randle, you know, teaming up. They've been, they've been pretty, pretty, pretty good. Boston, of course, you know, getting Porzingis back and still having JB, Tatum, you know, and others, you know, just kind of doing their thing on a consistent day to day basis is, you know, it's it's good, it's good. Um, but yeah, Orlando, Milwaukee, Orlando's a basically, you know, they're 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 in injury mode. They're, they're, they're like Franz Wagner is out, Paolo Van Carroll's out. You know, Milwaukee finally decided to lock in. Doc Rivers said we got to lock in, and that's exactly what Milwaukee's been doing. You know, with Giannis and named uh, Dame, Damian Lillard. Um, of course, Dallas, you know, they didn't have Luka Doncic for quite some time. And so, you know, guys like P.J. Washington have been stepping up, you know, which is crazy to me. Oklahoma City, you know, Isaiah Hartenstein has been stepping in. Because, again, there have been so many injuries so far over the first couple of weeks, you know, the NBA season. That is crazy. Um, so, you know, like Chet Holmgren's been out. So Hartenstein has just been on a double-double tear. Atlanta, you know, Trey Young is Trey Young, you know, but, like, guys like Jalen Johnson, uh, Rick Sauchers, Zacchaeus Rich, Rich Sauchers, you know, he's been stepping up. New York, of course, you know, Cat has just been on a tear as well. He's been he's been playing absolutely lights out. Also on a double double tear for the Knicks, you know. And you know, the NBA Cup, you know, I don't really care for it, but I will try my best to at least watch the championship. I don't know if I'm going to watch all of it. I don't know if I'm going to watch any of it. It's it's kind of it's kind of interesting because you know you have really good teams, you know, that most people aren't going to be like, hey. Let's talk about them, you know, SGA and, you know, Oklahoma City and Alpha and Sengun and the Houston Rockets, you know, on the other side, along with the, you know, aging Golden State, yet Golden State plays 12 guys minimum at this point. Like Steph Curry and Draymond Green are the only anchors left really from these championship teams, and yet, you know, and other guys stepping up like Andrew Wiggins or – or Brandon Puzinski, you know. So it's been interesting, you know. Nikola Jokic has been going off, you know, in places, but like at the same time, at the same time, you know, there's games where, you know, like this past weekend where Jokic dropped 56 and 48, but one of those was a loss to the Washington Wizards. Or the Lakers. Anthony Davis has been playing absolutely mental this year. LeBron has clearly regressed. And, you know, he has been playing his best ball this year. And yet, Lakers are nowhere near the NBA Cup. Lakers are still kind of middling around because they do get, they have a tendency to get blown out, you know, in games. There's been a lot of blowouts too. You know, a lot of games have been uncompetitive. You know, guys, again, so many injuries, you know. And so many players and teams, you know, just they just it's just it's just kind of weird, you know. Wimby, you know, he's been he's been kind of inconsistent with his play. You know, there there's been some games where he's been out. You know, the Clippers, you know, the Clippers are the Clippers. You know, James Harden and company. You know, they they gotten themselves back together. The Pelicans, oh my God, Zion being out, Ingram being out, McCollum being out at various points throughout the season. It's just been rough, you know. 
The Raptors didn't have Scotty Barnes for quite some time. I mean, it's just been it's just been a weird time, you know. And I and I wanted to make this video before Christmas just to kind of say we're in a weird we're in a weird spot right now with the NBA. It's been there's been several things the NBA's tried to do. You know, oh, we're gonna make you know the All Star Game a round robin format thing, you know. And it's like okay, the Golden State Valkyries picked up eleven of you know eleven players from eleven different teams as part of the expansion draft, um, but like. At the same time, you know, Jewel Lloyd is like, I'm, 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 I want out, you know, I want out, and it's, it's been weird. It's been weird. College basketball. I, think I wanted to really, you know, come and say something after, you know, the, after the, you know, the, um, feast week. I wanted to say something after feast week, but I was like, um, I'm gonna wait a second. Let me wait a second here. And then the SEC ACC challenge happened, and the big, and the Big Twelve Big East battle happened, where the SEC has looked dominant. You're talking Johnny Broom and the Auburn Tigers are one of the best teams in the country. You're talking Kentucky, led by Mark Pope. You know now it, it, it's crazy time. You know we're talking talking Alabama playing elite ball. You know, we're, 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 it's a crazy time. You know, Zakai Ziegler's had a lot of turnovers, but Tennessee is the number one team in the country. Number one. They didn't get that just from just from playing, you know, scrubs and everything like that. John Calipari's Arkansas team, although they didn't really do too well against Illinois on Thanksgiving, they rebounded. They rebounded. Uh, the Big 12 is about, you know, is – you know, and again, going back to talk about the SEC real quick, Kansas lost not only to Creighton, uh, and again, the Big East hasn't looked real good this year at all. UConn, you know, Dan Hurley suffered a meltdown in Maui and said he was like, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing, you know, these multi team events again. But I will smoke Texas, though. I will smoke Texas because Texas, let's just be honest, is, you know, kind of okay. But Missouri beating Kansas like that, you know, you know, there, there's, there's other teams that I'm sitting here like, why are you the way that you are? You know, like Marquette is really good. The Big Ten, you know, Oregon popping off before they lost this past weekend. Um, Wisconsin was, you know, unbeaten for quite a while. They lost, and then they lost to Marquette, you know, this past Saturday. Um, I mean, man. Man, 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 Purdue, they got beat it's bad. They got spanked by Marquette. They got they lost a couple other games in there, too. But they got spanked by Marquette. You know, the Maui final was what? It was, it was either Maui or the battle for Atlantis, where it was like Oklahoma made it to the to the final. You know, Arizona's like four and five, low like five and four right now. With Caleb Love still at the helm, it's crazy. Women's side, honestly, the same kind of craziness, but in a different way. You know, the of course we all know over the past couple of years I've been talking about women's college basketball. The elite matchups are basically on display. Like almost, there's like a game or two every single week. Where it's in college basketball, you know, there's like a high period, you know, like feast week and stuff like that, and then. December comes, you know, once the SEC, ACC challenge and all that stuff is out the way, then there's like a big old dead period. But like this week, Hannah Hidalgo, Notre Dame, they beat the brakes off of Juju Watkins, you know, in USC a couple weeks ago. They beat Texas in overtime, playing UConn this week. Paige Beckers just beat the brakes off of Louisville. Like Louisville had like two points in the third quarter on Saturday night. In the women's champions classic, Tennessee is back in the rankings. Iowa, you know, Iowa with um, Hannah Stolke now basically leading the charge. You know, everybody having new head coaches and stuff like that. You know, Iowa is, you know, sitting in a position where they can make some noise. You know, Maryland is still unbeaten. Again, Texas is still lurking. You know, it's like South Carolina, you know, they got. 
they 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 lost to UCLA in a game in which they were outmatched by Lauren Betts and company, and then they proceeded to beat the brakes off of not only TCU but Purdue with the depth they have. Or rather, no, it was Duke. I'm, I'm thinking of, thinking of something else, but they beat Duke that they had TCU. They got they they it was worse for TCU, which was a really good TCU team, by the way. Um, yeah, little teams like you know Kentucky and Duke and Louisville and NC State. You know, you know, I mean they they they're they're all fighting in the mix right now, but the clear. Cut number one right now is UCLA, you know, right now. UConn right behind them, and the resumes are starting to build for a lot of teams very, very early, very, very quickly. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be telling, you know, to see what happens in Big Ten play because there's teams like Indiana and Ohio State that are lurking for UCLA. In the ACC, Notre Dame still has to watch out for, you know, Stanford isn't as good as Stanford isn't as good as they once were, but they're still there. Louisville is there, NC State is there. You know, the SEC. You know, Texas is looking wide open, and I ain't even talked about LSU yet. Oh boy, I ain't even talked about LSU yet. Flage, Flage girl, my God, my God, them LSU girls have been going off. Them Lady Tigers, them Bayou Bengals have been going off. Like crazy, and you know, again, there is going to be some absolute heavy hitters in conference play. There'll be some absolute heavy hitters in the SEC in conference play, and I can't wait to see what happens with all that. But yeah, you know, Jared McCain is having the time of his life, and so am I. So I'm gonna get on about it here, and we'll talk the NFL tomorrow because again, I neglected to talk the NFL last week, and. There's a lot that happened in the past couple of weeks that you know I was just not talking about, but I'm going to talk about you know real soon. Be sure to watch the cooking videos. There's some cooking videos that they, up, they update. YouTube updated where I can make shorts with three minutes now instead of you know one minute. So I may do something about that real soon, but not today, not tonight though. I'm, I'm kind of tired, so I'm gonna get on about it here.